you don't need him. Okay, you don't need him. Nope, nah, nada. Every day if you need to, cry, cry, cry until there will be a day when I promise you, you will stop crying. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Carrington and I wanna thank you for checking out this video. For today's video, we are going to be discussing how to get through a breakup. I know you searched for it, I know you did, because you know why? I've been there, done that. There has been a period of time where I just did not know how to get through the rough breakup I was going through because my heart was broken. So I took it to YouTube and I literally searched how to get through a breakup. <laughs> We've all been there, sis, okay? We get it. It doesn't hurt to hear other ways that people got through their broken hearts, okay? Because we've all been there, I've been there, and trust me, I've got you. So these are the things that I did personally to get through my rough breakup. Hopefully, these tips will help you out. This is in no particular order, but number one, cut him off of social media. You have to do it because back in the day, our parents, our grandparents, they had it easy. They didn't have social media, they didn't have internet. So they didn't have to go through these periods of seeing their ex come through on their newsfeed like we do. It's really hard to get over somebody that you are consistently seeing in your face. It is hard to get through that heartbreak because you keep seeing their face and then you have memories pop up. You have the good times pop back in your head and maybe the bad times, but let's face it, you're really reminiscing on the good times. So you gotta cut it off, Got cut him off of social media. And if that means you have to block him, do it. You can do one of two things when it comes to cutting him off social media. Unfollow him. Okay, simple, easy. Unfollow, he might still be following you and then eventually he could unfollow you. Or block him, okay? Sometimes you have to take it there. You just gotta block him. The, if you block him, yeah, he's not gonna see your stuff, you're not gonna see his, but you know what? It's probably for the best. It'll be a lot easier to get over him, trust me. Tip number two, get off of social media completely. I know that this is a lot easier said than done and I'm not telling you to get rid of your accounts, like you have to delete your accounts and completely get off of all apps right now, but it's gonna help you a lot if you just delete Instagram off of your phone for a little bit, don't even log into Instagram, just take some time, take a break from social media. It really doesn't help to be scrolling through and seeing how happy other people are living their lives because let's face it, on social media we wanna represent our best selves. And I really find that being on social media is just not that helpful. I'd be sitting there scrolling and I'd be seeing everybody being so happy and ha ha ha, and I'm over here making myself even more sad because it's like, I am in this really crappy situation. My heart is broken. You people are living your best lives. You all look happy. I see this couple pop up on my newsfeed and it's like, oh my God, they look so happy. That was supposed to be me and it isn't. So get off of social media, take a break. You're gonna, you're gonna be thankful that you did it. So definitely do that. Tip number three delete all photos from your phone of you and your ex. Now again, a lot easier said than done, but honestly keeping those photos and checking back up on them, it just brings back the good times that you had and it makes it even more difficult to get through your broken heart, through your breakup, through your situation. So I would say delete them. And if you don't feel like you're ready to completely delete them permanently out of your life, those photos, you can do what I did. <laughs> you can use, um, there is an app, I believe it's called the Photo Vault. And what I did at the time of my breakup, I wasn't ready to delete all of those things permanently out of my phone. I just wasn't, honestly. I put all of those pictures of my, my ex and I, I put all of those photos in the photo vault and it is secured with a passcode that I have to put in every single time if I really wanna unlock them and see the photos. Now, I haven't checked on those photos. Those photos are still in the vault if I choose to do so. It is probably time for me to de just delete them in general because that relationship has been over and I've 
honestly moved on and I'm in a much better place now. But at that time, I wasn't ready to completely permanently remove them. So you do have a second option. Put them in the photo vault. They're out of your camera roll. They're not gonna be right there in your phone, easy to access. In order to see those photos, you have to actually go to the app, type in the passcode to then see those photos. You know, it's an extra step that just reminds you that you don't need to be doing that. So delete the photos or put them in an app where they are not easily accessible. Tip number four, listen to uplifting music. And I wanna emphasize uplifting. Music is literally such a big influence. And I know when I was going through my breakup, I could definitely play some sad songs, some Keisha Cole, like, you know, love. I could I could have played that. And then for some reason, that's gonna make me start crying again. I'm gonna start crying again if I listen to songs like that. The sad songs, the sappy love songs, like all that stuff, I couldn't do it. So instead, I decided to create a playlist. And actually, one of my best friends, Brie, also sent me her own playlist of songs to get through when you're going through a rough breakup. One of the songs that I personally had on repeat was He Wasn't Man Enough For Me. Great song. That, for me, was the song that I was listening to on repeat. But you might find a song for you that really works for you that is super uplifting, that is just talking about girl power, confidence, sexiness, you know, something a song that is gonna make you feel like you are going to be okay and you are strong you are beautiful and you're gonna get through this and you don't need him okay you don't need him nope nah nada number five connect with family and friends the people that love you are here for you they are there for you they are there to help you get through this really rough breakup that you're going through this heartbreak we've all had a broken heart we've all experienced it and personally for me my friends and my family were the ones to help me get through it without them i don't know what i would have done my friends would call and check up on me we would go out to lunch dinner my family was always there for me my parents my sisters always checking up on me, asking me each day how I was doing. Anytime I need to talk to somebody, they would be willing to listen to me. So your friends and family are there for you. And if you feel like you have relied on your friends and family too much, then don't be afraid to seek professional help. There is nothing wrong with therapy. I think it's actually really great for us all to get into therapy because you learn a lot about yourself. And I think therapy is really good in terms of growing as a person. But definitely reach out to family, friends, and connect with them, spend some time with them, get out of your room, you know, just get some interaction, some human interaction with your loved ones. That's definitely gonna help you out. Numero six, number six. <laughs> the last tip that I have is cry it out. Do not be afraid to cry it out and do not apologize when you cry. You have to let those emotions out. I cried so many times, I can't even tell you because I really, I, I can't keep track. I'm an emotional person, I'm sensitive, I know that, you know, I have nothing wrong with that. And when I get a broken heart, I'm going to cry, a lot. Don't feel bad or like you're crying too much, you're being too emotional. No, you have to let those emotions out. Those tears come out for a reason. We cry for a reason. And nobody should be judging you if you are crying. If people are judging you because you're crying, um, get some new friends. Hang out with some new people. Drop those people because that that's that's not okay. We all need to express our emotions and we need to not be afraid to show our emotions and to feel our emotions. We have to feel things. Cry it out every day if you need to. Cry, cry, cry until there will be a day when I promise you, you will stop crying. There will come a day when the tears no longer come. Not for that, not for that reason, not for that boy, not for that guy. The tears will no longer keep flowing. They'll just stop because you'll move on and you'll be at peace with yourself. And there will be a day when you really feel like you have moved on and you have accepted, you have grown and you're in a so much better place. And I'm speaking from experience and I'm smiling because that is literally how I feel now and how I felt a few months ago. I went, um, my healing period, it took a bit of time, 
But when I reached it, I could feel it and I felt so much better. And I'm glad that I just went through all of these steps that I'm sharing with you all today. So beautiful people, I hoped that these tips, that this advice, these steps that I did helped you out. Please let me know if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below. I would be happy to answer any questions that you ladies have in terms of a breakup or guys, if you watched this, you know. <laughs> that's cool too but yes please leave them below be sure to like this video if you liked it share it subscribe please i love to see my subscriptions go up i love you guys so much and be sure to check out my music if you haven't checked it out it's in the description box below as well with my instagram so thank you guys so much for watching this video i will catch you in the next one